Hello and welcome to Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke, and I am standing at the National Women's Show with Sarah Patterson, who is social stepmom, and we're going to talk all about social stepmom and what it's like to be a stepmom, because I know a lot of you women out there are on your second, maybe your third marriages, so you do have stepchildren, and I'm sure you're dealing with some of these issues. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So, Sarah, uh, you are a stepmom. You have how many kids? I have seven in total. I have five stepkids and two kids with my husband, so he has seven. And how was it? How was it for you to like blend this whole family together? Well, when I started as a stepmom, I didn't have any children, so I just got thrown right in there, and I hadn't realized all what all all the hard work that comes with stepmoms until I had my own children. Is when I realized there's a sea of mommy blogs out there, and there's really no support system for stepmoms, um, and it's very very challenging. You, you know, it's uh, extremely difficult. Even in the best case scenario, you still have your challenges as stepmom. So if I'm to understand correctly then, you married somebody who was already divorced with kids and then you had two children with him. Correct. Okay. So, but that isn't always the scenario, right? Sometimes it's, you come into a marriage, a second marriage or a third marriage already with children from both sides. But let, let's delve into some of like the challenges that stepmoms face. Yeah, so um, we recently did a survey in Canada, and the parenting styles or, or, or how you parent was one of the biggest things that came up. So imagine in a, in, a, in a household of two parents and conflicting parenting styles, and then you add uh, step parents and, and, and the different parenting styles between homes. So if the children's children go from one home to the other, um, and you have different parenting styles, different bedtimes, it can be quite frustrating for stepmoms. We have two, I have two sets of different stepchildren as well, so there's two other moms. So within our household, we have different rules for the older stepkids, then the younger stepkids, and then our kids. So life is just a one big challenge as a stepmom. I bet you have a really big master plan that you put on the fridge <laughs> to manage everything. Yeah, we talk about that. I have a big big uh, schedule. Uh, we are a fairly busy family. We're a very, very fortunate family, but we do a lot of uh, running around. And so we have uh, on a wall, we have everything uh, there. And that's one of the things that we tackle in Social Stepmom is how to make a, a, a stepmom's life easier. Great. So now let's uh, get a little bit more down, shall we? Sometimes the children resent the stepmom. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll do anything they can to try and break up step mummy and daddy so they can have mummy and daddy back together. That can be a real challenge on the relationship. What advice do you have to share with our viewers who may be facing this uh, type of issue on how to you know, get the kids to get on board? So my uh, biggest piece of advice is communication. So um, in some scenarios that, that we sort of entailed, we, I, I ignored it. And I, we, we would ignore it and try to just let the kids be calm and loving in our household. But I, I think that does them a disservice. I think what you need to do is you need to sit down as a family and you need to speak about the issues, whether it's the kids not wanting a step parent around, which is totally natural feeling for any child, um, or you know any other sort of issue they're having within the family. I think communication is one of the biggest things that you could do. As a stepmom and how you communicate with your kids, well, I think that needs to be discussed with your partner. But as a stepmom and being able to um, lean on other stepmoms and get advice of, of how to personally handle it, because I think that's a complete different issue because it's really hard. And in the background, you know, there's been a lot of tears with stepmom and we may not, may not show that on the outside. So there's a few different sort of levels of advice here. Okay, so communication is key. Another maybe uh, main area that would probably need to be addressed, with, especially if you're bringing all these kids together in a blended family situation, is financial issues or financial stresses. What advice do you have to give on that particular topic? Yeah, the financial stresses, I mean, all the support payments and payments out or payments in or whatever it is that your situation is can be terribly trying on a family. And um, my advice is really to, to have a great plan. If you have a great plan set, then it'll help make your life easier 
Um, that, that's, I mean, we can get further into it, but that sort of uh, planning is the best, especially when you're a stepmom. A plan for everything. Okay. So uh, you do have a blog. I want to direct people to, to the blog. So if they have other stepmom-related issues, you're the go-to expert. You have the blog for this. Uh, tell us how we can find that your social media blog and how you can help women facing these issues. So uh, you can find us at socialstepmom.com. We just launched the society, uh, which you can join, and that's where you're going to get all the tools. We have coaches, we have an education, a university uh, that we're, we're launching. We have um, online events, we have giveaways, we have in-person events. We're doing an event in Toronto, New York, Vancouver, LA. This is going to be Canada, US, UK. We really want to bring stepmoms together so that they can lean on each other and that there is a real sense of a community out there for us so that you don't feel alone. And I think that's one of the biggest things that stepmoms might feel. Well, I know I do, and a bunch of my stepmom friends do as well. They feel alone in this life. And so we want to um, be here so that you have somewhere to go and, and when you're in need. So socialstepmom.com, and you can join the society there. Okay, thanks so much for talking with me today. And thank you for being with us today. This is Jeanette Burke signing off for Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV here at the National Women's Show talking with uh, Sarah here from Social Stepmom. And uh, please remember to like, comment, and share all our posts with your family and friends. You will find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, Vimeo, YouTube, tw Tumblr, Twitter, you name it, we're there. Hashtag Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. And until next time, continue to be fabulous. Yeah.